Superfood Evolution presents Aloe Vera Gel versus Juice. Difference between fresh and bottle. What about aloe and carrageenan? Best varieties and top reasons to drink it. Aloe vera gel and juice, for consumption purposes, is typically extracted from the aloe barbadensis miller subspecies of the main true aloe vera plant. This is the most popular variety for dietary use because of its larger sized leaves and medicinal qualities. As a hardy, succulent, desert growing plant, aloe has developed a specialized storage structure which enables it to efficiently hold water within its thick green skin. These features provide a moisturizing, gelatinous fiber and juice that can have a health-enhancing and healing influence when consumed as a dietary food source. Thought to be native to the regions of the Arabian Peninsula, the aloe vera species of the genus aloe has been widely utilized throughout human history for both internal and external use. While aloe gel and juice can be preserved and made available as a bottled product, Many health enthusiasts are also using the fresh raw leaves directly, adding the filleted inner gel to an assortment of blended drinks. This is, in our opinion, one of the most effective ways to use aloe and take in its complete spectrum of benefits. Large aloe barbadensis leaves are, in fact, becoming a more common item in produce sections of some natural food markets. Organic selections are also now available from many online suppliers. And of course, if you happen to live in an environment conducive to its growth cycle, aloe is a great, easy to grow garden variety that is likewise frequently used as a desert landscape plant. What's the difference between aloe gel and juice? Fresh aloe versus bottled. When referring to the actual leaf itself, technically speaking, the gel is the thick mucilaginous substance in the inner part of the leaf, and the juice is the liquid or sap that surrounds it. The juice is closer to the green rind of the leaf, where more of the bitter aloin content is typically present. The biggest difference is that the gel is of a fibrous type consistency, and the juice is more of a dense, goopy liquid. The opaque, slightly transparent gel can be easily removed being a solid mass. The juice tends to exude whenever the leaf is cut. However, when referring to aloe vera gel products versus aloe juice products, there are other differences. Bottled products made from aloe gel versus aloe juice. While we highly recommend using fresh aloe and filleting your own gel, there are several organic quality products available for greater convenience. These are created from straight organic aloe with a very small percentage of other ingredients added. The thing with aloe is that the instant it is cut and the gel is removed, it quickly starts to degrade in nutritional value, color, and texture. This is evident when you keep freshly filleted aloe gel at room temperature or even refrigerated. It will soon darken and lose its viscosity over a few days time. For this reason, when producing bottled varieties, there are also other ingredients besides aloe utilized by product manufacturers that act as both preservatives and thickening agents. In gel products created from the inner fillet, many brands add small amounts of carrageenan to provide greater thickness. Ingredients like citric acid, sodium benzoate, and or potassium sorbate are also utilized to stabilize pH and inhibit mold growth. In addition, sometimes other company-specific proprietary processing techniques are employed to concentrate the polysaccharide content. This produces substances like the alozorb ingredient used in Lily of the Desert, aloe gel aloe vera gel, and carrageenan content. The use of carrageenan extract has been the subject of much debate among health conscious consumers for its studied links to a variety of gastrointestinal disorders, including inflammatory bowel syndrome and intestinal ulcerations. While most higher quality manufacturers we contacted claimed that their carrageenan was derived from Irish moss, 
This doesn't really mean that it isn't carrageenan extract, which in our opinion is very different. All carrageenan extract is derived from seaweed, but when degraded and acid processed, it becomes polygenin, a potent inflammatory agent. Some individuals who are particularly sensitive to even small amounts of carrageenan may therefore wish to avoid using bottled aloe gel. Aloe juice products, however, are void of carrageenan because they are in liquid form and don't require a thickening medium. What is whole leaf aloe juice? When a product is labeled whole leaf aloe juice, this means that the trimmed, washed whole leaf, often including green rind, is first juiced and then filtered using different methods depending on the company. These types of bottled aloe juices therefore contain the gel, even though they are of a liquid consistency. Likewise, they include both high and low molecular weight polysaccharides. What is aloin and can it be toxic? Aloin, also called aloe latex, is a bitter, yellow-brown colored compound located just underneath the rind or skin of the leaf. When you fillet an aloe leaf, this bitter taste is apparent on one's fingers after touching it. In small amounts, aloin can have a therapeutic quality, being an anthroquinone, and is most well known for its properties as a natural laxative. But when repeatedly used in large amounts, it has been shown to be an intestinal irritant, which can have toxic side effects. There is currently no labeling requirement for aloin content, but according to the National Toxicology Program, the safe upper limit is 10 parts per million in orally ingested products. Most aloe manufacturers are up to date on aloin safety and usually contain less than one part per million of aloin. In addition, some suppliers are also certified for content and purity by the International Aloe Science Council. Other brands like Aloe Life make a concentrated juice product called Aloe Gold, containing greater amounts of bitter aloin, which may be beneficial depending on your current health goals and frequency of use. We believe some aloin content can be favorable, as long as you don't overconsume it for long periods of time. Top reasons to consume aloe vera gel or juice. Natural laxative and digestive aid. Many health authorities consider a properly functioning digestive tract free from obstructions to be the key foundation for optimal health and wellness. Aloe vera gel, which is made up of concentrated long-chain polysaccharides, is a potent source of soluble dietary fiber, as well as bitter substances helpful for stimulating digestive juices and increasing intestinal peristalsis. It's also naturally a top recommended dietary superfood, along with chia and flax, for most weight loss regimens and can be added to blended cleansing beverages or green juices. Providing mild and soothing laxative qualities that help to encourage good stool formation, promote regular bowel activity and ease defecation, dietary supplementation with aloe can likewise be a nourishing food source and anti-inflammatory aid for those with colitis, ulcers, acid reflux, diverticulitis, and IBS. Remember, however, that it's important to seek the advice of a qualified medical practitioner before using aloe to treat such conditions. Supports healthy intestinal microbiota and immune responses. Composed of mannose-containing polysaccharides like ace mannan and acetylated glucomannans, the gel portion of the leaf is not only soothing to the intestinal tract, but may also provide benefit to immune responses. Aloe is also naturally alkalizing to body pH and can be of benefit to overly acidic conditions that can help to encourage an overgrowth of unfriendly gut bacteria. A healthy intestinal tract is intimately connected with the health of the immune system via a mass of tissue that make immune cells called the gut-associated lymphoid tissue. Anthroquinone compounds in the leaves additionally act as antibacterial and antifungal agents to help prevent conditions like systemic candida infections. 
Likewise, the gel's polysaccharide constituents serve as a prebiotic to friendly microflora and help to nourish the protective mucous membranes lining the digestive tract. One potentially useful quality of consuming aloe is that it is known to provide better intestinal nutrient absorption and uptake of other superfoods or micronutrient supplements ingested with it. Assists detoxification and benefits the skin and hair. The mucilaginous gel from the aloe barbadensis species varies from between 98.5 to 99.5% water content and thus is very hydrating to the body as well as lubricating to the skin and hair, even when consumed internally. It is known to assist in the detoxification process, providing cleansing effects that are helpful for removing excess waste material and eliminating toxins. Aloe's cleansing actions, especially when the more bitter anthraquinones are present, also intrinsically help to clear up external skin issues like acne, eczema, and sometimes psoriasis. It is the number one ingredient to use with activated charcoal and lemon in detox drinks like charcoal lemonade. Beneficial as an anti-inflammatory and supports healthy joints. Aloe vera gel and juice is a well-known anti-inflammatory agent with a cooling and soothing effect on inflamed conditions when consumed. In Ayurveda, it is considered very good for pacifying pitta or heat-related conditions and also likewise helps to clear ama or toxic buildup in the body. One of aloe's beneficial nutrients includes sulfur-based MSM, which can additionally help to support strong, healthy joints. The polysaccharide content found in aloe vera gel is also potentially nutritive for increasing joint flexibility and relieving pain. How to use Freshly filleted aloe vera gel can be blended into smoothies, shakes, or most any beverage. It will add a thick, emulsifying quality and camouflages well with other ingredients. You can also make your own blended aloe gel from fresh leaves and store it in the freezer to preserve it for future use. Visit our How to Fillet Aloe page in the link above for more instructions on this technique. Whole organic aloe barbadensis leaves are available by the pound from several online suppliers, or you can grow your own if you happen to live in a region conducive to its growth. Whole aloe leaves, once cut, can be stored in the fridge for several weeks. Bottled aloe juice or gel can also be utilized in drinks, juices, or mixed in the water. It is important to make sure that you get aloe sold as a dietary or herbal supplement not products intended strictly for topical applications. Precautions. Excessive internal use may cause abdominal cramping and loose stools. It is often best to avoid consuming aloe vera gel when pregnant. Consult your physician or healthcare provider before using aloe if you are pregnant, nursing, have a serious medical condition, or are taking prescription medications. Thanks for watching. For additional info as well as leads to the very best sources of aloe vera products we can find, be sure and check the links in the description box below this video. Please share and give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And be sure and check out these other informational videos.